Amir Kumbali ma'am. In this session, I'm going to teach you top 20 model questions from electrochemistry chapter. These 20 questions are NCRT based questions. Okay, what I do is this 20 questions I'll split up into four parts. First part, five questions, second part, five, third part, five, fourth part, five, each part, five, five. When I am explaining that particular question, you know, the, these all these questions, I'll go, I'll move here and around that entire electrochemistry chapter so that you will be getting an idea what type of questions will be asked, how the framing is, uh, you know, how the, uh, you know, uh, what to say, logic based upon that question, you will get the clarity. If you want to learn the entire chemistry syllabus from basics to depth, not only NCRT, that particular chop chapter in such a way that you, if you want to solve any kind of questions, I am taking online classes, you can enroll the courses which are available and you can excel in a chemistry. I will provide my WhatsApp number in the description. You please, uh, you know, those who are looking for the best chemistry mentor you, uh, to learn the entire syllabus in short duration, you can uh, enroll into the classes. For now, let us see this electrochemistry chapter. I will move here and there entire chapter so that you will get a quick re uh, review of the questions, how the framing can be done. Okay. Let us see. In electrochemistry, what do we study? How electrical energy converts to chemical energy, chemical energy to electrical energy. Electrochemical cells we see. What are electrochemical cells? Two types. Galvanic cell, electrolytic cell. Correct? Now, uh, see the first question. If an external opposite potential is applied to Daniel cell standard state we take, the reaction continues to take place till the opposite voltage reaches the value of. Check it out. If it's tomorrow, tomorrow your exam, day after tomorrow your exam, whether you will be able to do it or not, click on pass and you can try. Okay. Uh, now, see here NCRT picture. This is our Daniel cell. This is uh, where zinc rod is placed in zinc sulphate. This is ZnS4,4. Copper rod is placed in copper sulphate. If you keep this to one molar concentration, one molar concentration, then the same cell we call it as galvanic cell or Volta-like cell. When, when these ions concentration are uh, unity. Okay, and during this phenomena, the potential which it shows in the cell is here 1.1 1 .1 volt, which usually the cell shows the potential. Now, what you are going to do is, you are going to apply some external volts. If you are applying external volts, it is showing 1.1. 1 .1. Until you show you pass 1.1, no problem, the reaction takes place. But once you pass exactly what it reaches external old 1.1, then cell stops working. No chemical reaction, no flow of electrons. This is a question they asked. For example, if we pass 1.1 more than that, then reaction takes place in backward direction. Suppose this is the reaction which is taking place in forward. Once you pass more than this external potential, see more than external potential, reverse reaction takes place. Okay. So our answer is once we reach until this reaction takes place, after that reaction Reverse, rea reverse direction it will be. Next, the cell potential is called as EMF of the cell. Let Then when? When we call it as EMF of the cell, when no current is drawn through the cell, then we call it as EMF of the cell. See the explanation which is given, given in our NCRT textbook. What is the cell potential you see? The potential difference between the two electrodes of galvanic cell. Okay. Zinc rod, zinc sulphate, copper rod, copper sulphate. That time the potential difference between the two we call it as a cell potential. Okay. If that time... Uh, the potential difference, bit, th this we measure in volts. The cell potential is the difference between the electrode potentials of cathode and anode. That time, when there is no current is drawn through the cell, that cell potential we call it as cell electromotive force EMF of the cell. Zinc rod placed in zinc sulphate. 
copper rod placed in copper sulfate this zinc is converted into zn plus 2 and comes into the solution into the solution cu2 plus ions goes and occupy cu during this time you know charge difference will be created in a both the charge difference uh, called as potential difference due to this potential difference here and here the difference between these two we call it as a cell potential when there is no current drawn from this we call it as an um, emf cell electromotive force emf we will call what is the formula e cell is equal to e naught E cell is equal to E cathode minus E anode. This is the standard formula. Both cell potentials of cathode as well as cell potential of anode, both we have to take in SRP form when we are using this formula. Okay, in regular class, we will discuss entire explanation, how we derive this formula, what is the exact meaning, uh, you know, what are the various formulas, everything we uh, you know, discuss that time. Okay, now. So, what is the answer in this question? Option 3 is the answer. Okay. This session will be helpful for you so much. You will get a, you know, full grip. You just complete the entire, uh, um, this NCRT uh, session. Open your NCRT textbook and you read. You will feel very confident and happily you can, okay, logics, everything it will, I am going to cover in this session. Okay. For the cell reaction, this is a cell reaction. Okay, what is the cell reaction? You observe here copper is in zero oxidation state, here it is in plus two. From year to year, increase in oxidation state, we call it as oxidation. Here it is plus one, here it is zero. Here plus one to zero, decrease in oxidation state is called as a reduction. This is oxidation, this is reduction. Both are taking place, that is called as a reduction, Red oxidation ox that reaction we call it as what students redox reactions oxidation as well as reduction both are taking place now how to write one cell representation is we have to just now i told you e cell is equal to uh, e cathode minus e anode okay now i'm going to tell you cell representation how uh, how to write one cell actually not this question a topic I am telling you. One reaction is taking place. First, A for anode, B for bridge, C for cathode. A, B, C trick. Okay. A, B, C anode. Which is anode? Which is undergoing oxidation. C, U solid is undergoing oxidation. Okay. This is an aqueous state. It is undergoing oxidation. See, both are in different phases now. So, put a slant here. Now, what is a cathode? Cathode is Ag plus converting into Ag. Ag plus converting into Ag. Both, this is aqueous phase, this is solid phase. Both are in different phases. Put one slant here. This is anode, this is cathode. Between bridges there, double slash you keep, this is called as a bridge, okay? This is a usually cell representation. Fine. Now, what is our formula? Our formula is E cell is equal to E cathode minus anode. What is a cathode? This is our cathode. Write that E cathode is what? Ag plus slash Ag, which is anode. This is anode. But this is the formula where both should be in SRP form, reduction format only we have to take. Okay. That is the formula. Okay. Uh, how that formula, some more concept is there. This is what we have to take students tell me. We should take in SRP form. So, SRP form is reverse. See how I am going to ta uh, take substitute minus. This is also an SRP form means E reverse. Cu2 plus slash Cu. So, which is the correct option? Option number 2 is the correct one. So, in this I am not, I have not discussed only one part. Two different models I have explained you. Clear? This is the NCRT explanation which is uh, given to this formula. Hmm? This is uh, from where, from here the question is framed. Next question. 
the conductivity of an electrolyte solution depends upon conductivity depends upon what conductivity depends upon concentration more is the concentration more is the ions more is the conductivity so concentration important if it is a strong electrolyte more ions more ions more conductivity so what type what nature of electro electrolyte or what nature of solvent that is also important and temperature also important because more is the more is the temperature then ions absorbs the temperature and starts moving faster and conductivity increases so conductivity increases it depends on nature of the electrolyte size of the ions produced and their solvation nature of solvent and its viscosity concentration of the electrolyte temperature see when you are reading ncrt you know in such a way you have to frame and you should uh, you know uh, solve it see the next question select the incorrect statement among the following see this question elect they are asking incorrect statement electrochemical principles are relevant to the hydrogen economy what is this hydrogen economy how this electrochemical principles are related let us see one box is given in the ncrt electrochemistry at last if you observe this box what is what is the meaning of this hydrogen economy ncrt explains is we have a uh, fossil fuels uh, actually thermal power plants are present right thermal power plants uh, produces electricity correct so but the efficiency is 40% instead of thermal power plants if you use this hydrogen fuel cells efficiency is more what is that efficiency almost 70% efficiency is more in therm uh, hydrogen fuel cells what we can do but thermal power plants na uh, we take uh, this uh, coal gas oils we will burn them we get the energy we take that energy we uh, heat the water and convert water into steam that steam we use to rotate the turbines okay from there we get, get from there we can get the electricity but that that creates so much of pollution it releases carbon dioxide gas because of the carbon dioxide gas greenhouse effect causes because of greenhouse effect whatever the ice polar ice caps are there it starts melting once polar ice cap starts melting then people who are living at uh, low lying areas because of the uh, more water uh, like uh, you can and see maldives they face the, which are low regions they face lot of problem okay but if we replace with hydrogen fuel cell you know no uh, side effects i mean uh, no waste products during this hydrogen fuel cells na we can get the uh, water only the by product apollo spacecraft also they use this uh, uh, hydrogen oxygen fuel cell and there the water which was produced as a side product was used by the astronauts this was the explanation which we get from ncrt you know see the next part corrosion of metals is an electrochemical phenomena how the corrosion is an electrochemical phenomena is it correct statement or not see the corrosion what do you mean by corrosion uh, like iron objects will be corroded if you keep in open air so metals on the top of that oxides will be formed and their salts will be formed and tarnishing takes place correct actually during this phenomena Uh, oxidation and reduction both takes place okay oxidation and reduction both takes place that's why this is also in corrosion is an electrochemical phenomena okay and see the next next part this is also correct batteries are very useful forms of electrolytic cells this is a wrong how batteries are uh, you know uh, electrolytic cell no batteries are galvanic cell what is a battery battery consists of you know a connection of it is a galvanic cell where we convert chemical energy of a redox reaction into electrical energy which means galvanic cell is the cell where one reaction takes place during the reaction it releases some energy that energy we will use it so galv battery is a galvanic cell not electrolytic cell
this is the incorrect option next electrochemical cells are used for determining solubility product whether the statement is correct or not check here electrochemical cells are extensively used for determining the ph of solutions solubility product equilibrium constant thermodynamic properties and potentiometric titrations what is that potentiometric titrations so that option also correct option this is also correct so incorrect option is third one what is the what is the correct form this one here galvanic cells should be present clear in this part i have covered you not five questions here and there the topic related concepts i have discussed in the next part another five model questions i am going to discuss like the 20 questions in a series i am going to do in this series entire electrochemistry i will uh, cover my name is komali i am your chemistry mentor thank you so much for watching this video see you again in next video bye love you have a nice day